Before time began, there was no heaven, no earth and no space in between. A vast dark ocean washed upon the shores of nothingness and licked the edges of night. A giant cobra, Sheshenegger, floated on the waters. Asleep within its endless coils lay the Lord Vishnu. He was watched over by the mighty serpent. Everything was so peaceful and silent that Vishnu slept, undisturbed by dreams or motion. From the depths a humming sound began to tremble. The night had ended. Vishnu awoke. As the dawn began to break, from Vishnu's navel grew a magnificent lotus flower. In the middle of the blossom sat Vishnu's servant, Brahma. He awaited the Lord's command. Vishnu spoke to his servant. It is time to begin. Brahma bowed. Vishnu commanded, create the world. A wind swept up the waters. Vishnu and the serpent vanished. Brahma remained in the lotus flower, floating and tossing on the sea. He lifted up his arms, calmed the wind and the ocean. Brahma split the lotus flower into three. He stretched one part into the heavens, put another part into the earth. And with the third part he created the skies. set to work. He created grass, flowers, trees and plants of all kinds. To these he gave feeling. Next he created the animals and the insects to live on the land. He made birds to fly in the air and many fish to swim in the sea. To all these creatures, he gave the senses of touch and smell. He gave them power to see, hear and move. The world was soon bristling with life, and the air was filled with the sounds of Brahma's creation. A wicked demon appeared and stole the world and threw it far out into the cosmic ocean. 
Vishnu quickly killed the demon and changed into animal form to rescue the world. One day, this universe, like all others before it, will be wiped out when Lord Shiva, the Destroyer, grows angry with the world's evil. At this time, he will dance Tandava, his ferocious dance of destruction, and once again there will be a time when nothing exists but Brahman.